Today I'm going to show you how to install a filter into the William Optics 6A3 Field Flattener Focal Reducer Combination. While I highly recommend using a filter drawer or a filter wheel for your filters, for those of us without one, you can install a filter here. So to start with, just simply remove your focal reducer from the back end of your telescope. This is just done by unscrewing it. Okay, there we go. You can now take your telescope and put it off to the side. You won't need it again until the end of this process. So today I will be installing this filter here. It is a Optolong UHC filter. It's a fairly inexpensive and entry level filter for eliminating light pollution. This filter is a two inch filter. The 6A3 only accepts two inch filters by default. If you wish to use a one and a quarter filter, you will also need some sort of adapter. So give me a second to put on some gloves. You should always wear gloves when handling things like this because you do not want to get smudge marks or fingerprints on any of the lens elements or on the filter itself. Once you're wearing gloves, just simply unscrew the dust cover on the back of your focal reducer. Then, using both hands, unscrew the big black cap at the end of the focal reducer. This is the part that doesn't have any text on it. Since the 6A3 is actually an adjustable device, it means that we can unscrew this quite a ways as it was meant to be moved back and forth so you can get the ideal back focus for your cameras. It also means that unscrewing this takes an awful lot amount of time. And we're still going. Gotta be getting close to the end here. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we can put that off to the side now. We're only going to be looking at this cap. On the inside here, it has a ring of threads, specially designed for filters. They should match up with the filter threads we have at the bottom of the filter. Mating these two is quite difficult due to the thickness of the cap, but try your best to align it in there. Once you have it in, you can start screwing it in. Be very slow and very gentle with this. I like holding it upside down, so my the filter is at the bottom pointed up and I put the cap on on top of it, but I'm not going to show that here because it's very difficult to see what I'm doing. There we go. Hold it up to uh, the light and uh, make sure that there are no smudges in it when you are done. All right, it's very sturdily put in there, so we're good to go. We can now just reattach it to the back of the focal reducer. Luckily, this is a much faster process than unscrewing it. Or at least it feels like a much faster process. Screw it up to the uh, distance that you want to be used at. For me, this is about the adjustable distance that I need. There we go. You can now see that we have the fi filter installed. And there's no dust or smudges on any of the lens elements, so we're good to go. Reinstall the dust cap on the end. And then we can just screw it back into the back of our telescope. There we go. 
So with that, we are all done. You now have a filter installed in your field flattener for use with your astrophotography. Congratulations. If you want to change the filter, you'd have to take apart the whole thing again and swap out the filter as we did before. And that's the reason why I recommend filter drawers or filter wheels instead.